the best teams uh, yeah. in some of these rounds, and they're just playing to get these matches done. By the so way, offense like this doesn't always work like that. I yeah. Better ones. Yeah. By the way, Raul has done that crossover that you're talking about, so we can see here mm -hmm. his tunnel was on the side towards this war room, and right behind this wall, he has made a tunnel crossing over, and he is now going to be directly in front of the opposite wall that they need to cap. So good job on his point. Good job on his part. So he could go for these circle jumps here. These bedrock walls obviously make it uh, impassable. However, you can jump around them if you are decently good at parkour. And if you jump around all of them, you can just get straight into the wall. He can also pop up and try and take on the two defenders plus the three midliners, which are there. Or he can wait for an opportunity via ground push that comes to him. Let's see what he does. Yep. And there are currently four people here, and I think they heard him, because they're all running, yeah, and he'll be spotted just then. So they know he's there, and he knows he knows they're there, or he knows they know he's there. Uh, so he's going to turtle in real quick, and just, but Raul is definitely spotted. And in the meantime, we've had Into the Void drop off the Sky Bridge, get some block spam, get that staircase done. So Impact has extended over that staircase and taken control, so that will no longer be in favor of... And that will no longer be in favor of Final v 3 Sorry, yeah, sorry about the stream drop, guys. That was just quality options coming on. So now you can drop it down to low quality. If you're having uh, trouble loading it, uh, if the quality was too high, you can now choose whatever you want because we have enough viewers. So good job. Uh, Hachi continuing on this bridge on the left side island. Wow, the majority of Final v 3 is preoccupied. Uh, first of all, getting rid of Raul, but also watching over this Final wall room. Yeah, definitely. And again, clearing out this roof, uh, as Gamatoto did, is, as we were talking about, a huge advantage. Or not an advantage, but a very good op uh, decision to make as a team, because if Hatchies, as we were talking about, makes it across this room, and then they bridge across this roof, having the very open like this is going to be a little harder for them to kind of, you know, block in and take yeah. over. You know, it's it's a at good it's same, a good choice to make. At the same time, though, I mean, if you look at that uh, glass thing that Sin has had in his defense, just those little two white glass things, that let him see the entire uh, area that you could tunnel, because that spawn underground is obviously taking a part of it. Those two blocks at the side are all you can tunnel. Yep. That's a, a quick thing you can do that has a large effect, whereas they've spent so much time now on this roof that they might have been better spending on different parts of uh, midlining. Yeah, definitely. But in this case, uh, finally, V3 did dedicate the time. They did allocate the time for someone to do that, and... Uh, We'll keep an eye out. Uh, looks like they're scared of more tunneling happening in front of this wall. So finally, V3 will be digging out a huge, or not huge, but a decent section in front of this uh, in front of this war room to prevent any more sneaks from popping up on them. Uh, looks like finally, V3 is starting to staircase up to that bridge, try to meet up, and wow, he's getting very far without getting stepped. I don't even think Void saw him. But that, there's basically a complete staircase up to that sky bridge for finally, V3 that they'll be able to zerg up. Hachi now has a complete way over this orange wall rim. Finally, V3 making, I think, a big mistake not having a defender still at this uh, orange spot. Because even though this wall is capped, it's still a protected area with better gear and especially punch boat. So allowing people yeah. to have this uh, spot where they can kind of have a little fortification for their offenses so close to your other wall rim is a huge mistake. Yeah, it looks like that was a little push coming in from uh, Final V3 to take back the Sky Bridge, but, excuse me, but uh, it looks like Impact easily won that fight into the Void, taking that two of them. Raul in front of this wall, he's going for the little dig through, but he is taking that. Wow, he was flying through there when he got taken out there. Uh, but Impact now has connected the Sky Bridge to the roof, and they're jumping on top of the roof to try to take out all these people from Final V3, and they are in complete control of this roof where they'll be able to bridge over that defense because that defense is not very high up so they'll be able to just bridge over walk over and jump and basically have a free passageway into the war room uh into the void just got a little juke there by that member finally be three but he is naked so probably won't be able to get too much done yeah impact has a tap they have capped orange wool very early on and uh, as we said before, Hitchy has completed the bridge and we'll be getting across into that worm. Yeah, that, that little glass uh, tube to prevent the tunnelers is very good because that's the only place that they can tunnel. Uh, 
the bedrock is too thick right there, and so they, if they were tall on this edge, they would have to come past through this glass. You'd be able to spot them very early on. It is definitely a good thing to have for your defense. And look at this, Hatchy in the war room and building a bridge. It's exactly what we're talking about. He's gotten to the war room, connected the, the bridge to the roof, and now if they get back into that wall, all they have to do is get back to the roof, and they have a direct passage all the way back to their side, basically. Uh, looks like a decent sized fight going on on top of the roof into the void. Not sure he's been blocking up these fences. It's interesting. I guess so you can't fall through them. But uh, he did let, allow G1 to lose that fight there, but that's okay. They're still in complete control of this section on the map. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Final Enemy 3 has finally gotten across some of these side ons left side on and taken it for themselves, but Cryptic Galaxy oh, is going to be coming in to, uh... Just clean up and back. put the control. Yeah. I mean, also, just looking at the time right now, we're halfway through this match, and with one cap uh, to get back into lead, uh, of course, finally V3 is going to need to cap one wool at least. And either get a touch or have better proximity. So even if they're really hurtling, there's there's a little point. A loss is a loss, as we say. Yeah. If you get three objectives, or if it's only by a bit of proximity. So at a certain point, you're just going to have to resign to the fact that maybe they're going to complete your objectives and try and make something happen. Yeah, and they're going to be. Well, as long as Impact keeps utilizing this uh, war room gear over here, Hatchy is still coming back right to where he was. Um. Yeah, funny. <laughs> uh, and Sheriff, yeah, that's definitely something that we'll be keeping an eye on. Obviously, actually, has started that process. But like we said, just getting across to the roof, getting connected to the roof is really the first goal that you want from that worm uh, to make it so that you can easily get back. But, as we were saying, Impact does have this bridge across the, to, to their roof. I can't talk. To their roof. And uh, they're just going to be sending people up here. And finally, V3 is just... Not pain looping, but they're definitely just kind of brigading people up into this, this sky bridge, this roof area, to try to lock people down. I apologize. Sorry about the noise. The little pling. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I apologize. And I would also like to see Final V3 try to evolve these defenses while they have the time, because it's definitely going to help them in the long run, uh, since it is what they need to do. They need to have two defenders on this wall, whereas right now, they don't have anyone at their war room, really. Uh, any dedicated defender at the war room. Uh, right now, everyone is on the roof or on the front lines trying to hold Impact down. So if Impact were to be able to run past anyone, they would basically have a free entry into the war room right now, which is a bit of a scary thought. Yeah, Impact's got so much pressure on this war room, and at this point, I really have no idea what finally V3 could do. Not much, except something sneaky, I'm afraid. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, as we say that, they have two members over here on the left side, and uh, one running back, because he was naked, but uh, let's see if I'm Bruno will be able to get anything done, because, like I said, this sneaky things are definitely possible, especially with this defender not looking... And here comes that Bruno just kind of killing some negative but... things. However, become much less possible when you have competent defenders defending these monstrosities that we see on Impact yeah, Dive. Yeah, these defenses are highly evolved. But like I said, I like. I mean, if there ever was a time, yeah. he's just down here digging a pit. Uh, if there was ever a time just to waltz into the front of the worm, that would be it. But uh, instead, he ended up going for that kill on uh, PM Hayes or uh, I forget who else it was. I think it was Raul. Uh, yeah. And uh, he got taken out himself. I think at this point I would honestly stop building my defense as a defender. I would just hold for the rest of the game, knowing that I'm not going to get too much pressure, and that my main role right now is just to be aware. Yeah, if and as we say that, into the void is in the wall. So that is a touch for impact, and Genie in is is in as well. And then getting this getting this wall back is going to be very simple for impact, uh, because they have this bridge across. And basically, they have like four different ways they can bring the wall back. They can probably run back on ground. They can run back on sky bridge. They can run back across on the side on through the other wall. And uh, into the void is sprinting back. He does have the wall in hand. He just has to get past one or two members of Final Enemy 3, and he'll be safe. 
and in the clear basically you get this back so we're just gonna run with him the whole way just to make sure he makes it back safe and sound a little bit of fighting some guy got flanked into the void goes flying into the void ha 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 uh genie one though has the wall himself and is running back he made it through that kind of little slaughter and that will be the place and that will be gg for impact gg